A Christian girl child Fatima Mazi is the daughter of Anwar Mazi, a resident of Street No. 11 in Gulza Colony, Rawalpindi. The 12-year-old was allegedly abducted on May 6 by a resident of Jong named Amjad. Police sprang to action after a case was registered on Sunday 24 May. However, the suspect's family has started threatening the victim's family to withdraw the case. The police rather than investigating the case, have also started pressuring the abducted girl's family for a settlement with abductors. As intolerance towards religious minorities grow in Pakistan, so does the practice of forced conversions. While there are different methods used to forcefully convert minority people, two most common tools for forced conversions in Pakistan are bonded labor and forced marriages of young girls. Let's discuss what is bonded labor. Bonded laborers are enslaved people as a result of debts. Poor workers are first enticed to get loans from the employer at high interest rates and after that they and their families are forced to work on low wages to return the loans. If a person dies his children are forced to work in order to return the loan with interest. These families are kept under surveillance and are not allowed to leave. This practice is common among agriculture workers brick kilns workers, tanning, and carpet industries. In addition to work, these families are usually submitted to physical and forward slash or sexual violence and often forced to convert to majority religion Islam. Three factors sustain this practice, social acceptance of the phenomenon, vulnerability due to extreme poverty and inequality and the influence of powerful abusive landlords and factory owners. Second type of forced conversions is forced marriages of women, usually young minority girls, mostly between 11 to 25 years of age. The minority women become victims of rape, abduction, and to avoid action by law, these girls are forced abductors into marriage and conversion. After forcefully converting plus nine, these girls are often prohibited from contacting their families. Those who manage to escape to their homes are considered traitors of the faith, which implies persecution and threats to girls and their families' life and property. The hardcore religious groups, clergy and religion-based political parties support this heinous crime. In fact forced conversion of minority women to Islam is considered as great achievement. The support of these sections of society also results in avoiding the creation of specific legal framework to stop forced conversions. The little legislation available is constrained by active support of religious groups, local influentials, police officers lawyers and judicial staff involved once such a case is reported, all in line want to retain forcibly converted girl into new religion, in hope of landing in paradise by supporting this heinous crime.